I'm here with Captain Warren Robinson with the Little Rock Fire Department. Could you let us know about any career opportunities that you all have to offer today? Uh, yes, I definitely can. Little Rock Fire Department is a wonderful institution that we have a great opportunity for a lot of people to have. We want you to come and join us because we need quality candidates. Uh, right now, the fire department are hiring for entry fire level firefighters. Uh, starting pay is right over $36,000. Within your first five years, you'll be over $54,000, and that is your base pay. Uh, we have a one-year firefighter here just going into a second year. First year, already made over $42,000, and that is the lowest level. Uh, not only that, the beautiful thing about the fire department is we have an opportunity to give you an opportunity to maximize your life because we work one day and you're off two days, which means you work one, then you're off, off work, on, off, off work. So in a 21-day span, you're only working seven days. Over the course of a year, you're working 123 days out of 365. So it gives you 240 days to do whatever you want to do. A lot of people have different businesses, a lot of other things. Some people build houses, lawn service. They got a lot of different things. Some people even speak on their off days. And we have that in place so you can actually do a lot of different things and still maintain a full career with the fire department. Um, 28 years and you can fully retire with the fire department. 28 years or 55. A lot of people don't realize this, but if you come to work with us at 21, by the time you're 49, you can be fully retired and bring home 85% of your paycheck. No one in here except for those individuals in police and fire can offer that because we pay into Lafayette. Again, it's a wonderful, wonderful opportunity. We have a lot more to offer than just fighting fire because we also have different divisions. As for myself, I am a fire marshal. Uh, I am what they call a hybrid. I'm a firefighter with police powers. We have other different divisions, uh, training, operations, administration, ARF, which is airport rescue firefighting. We have a lot of things to offer in the fire department, but the most beautiful thing about it is it gives you an opportunity to be who you really are if you're that individual that like helping people. Okay, all right. And how can we contact you to find more you information? You can contact us by going to www.lrjobs.net, www.lrjobs.net, and you have to create a profile, and then once you do that, link it to the fire department, and we'll get some new notifications as to when the test will be. Okay, thank all you right. so much. Thank you for your time as well. We're here with Denise M. Washington with Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis. Hi, and welcome to our career fair. Hi, thank you. Uh, do you have any career or internship opportunities that you can tell us about today? We do, we do. And so we are here primarily looking for students with a background in accounting or business, finance, economics, um, potentially mathematics, um, information technology, um, and let's see if there's anything else. And that pretty much sums it up. Um, the Federal Reserve Bank is central to America's economy, and so we have positions that range anywhere from bank examiners to um, analysts in any of our various business groups, including human resources or public affairs. We also have um, a center for learning. Um, that we are establishing and developing, and sometimes that makes positions available um, in the arena of education. But more often than not, we're looking for those strong business majors with strong GPAs. Okay, all right. And how can we contact you to find out more information? Uh, the best way to contact us would be to visit our website at stlouisfed.org, okay. um, and the jobs will be posted out there, and we're eager to hear from you. Thank you. Okay. We are here with Kevin Melanson from the Texas Game Wardens. And could you tell us about any internship or career opportunities that you have to offer students today? Yes, ma'am. We have a law enforcement internship, which is a part-time position. Uh, generally starts uh, around Memorial Day and ends the last weekend of July. That encompasses about 20 hours of work per week. And it allows the student to get a hands-on perspective of what we have to offer in a career as a Texas game work. And allows us as an agency to look at the student as a prospective employer, employee down the road. Okay, and how can we contact you for more information? Uh, they can feel free to contact by our website here, www.tpwd.texas.gov slash backslash game backslash warden, and, uh, or do a general Google search for Texas Parks and Wildlife or Texas Game Warden, and they'll, they can find the agency that way as well. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Lois Baker. I'm here from the Minnesota Natural Resources Conservation Service, a sub-agency of the USDA. And we're recruiting for a number of occupations in the agricultural uh, sciences. Actually, uh, soil science and soil conservation is our focus. Um, this agency 
goes back to uh, the Dust Bowl. This was the government's response to the Dust Bowl and how we uh, prevent such uh, 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 conditions in the soil uh, nationwide. Anyway, we help farmers and other landowners uh, conserve uh, their natural resources on their private, uh, privately owned property by um, offering assistance programs and engineering services, etc. We are here recruiting for students and recent graduates of uh, qualified disciplines, and we have information regarding those occupations, including qualification requirements. We also have uh, the federal government's website, usajobs.gov. I have some information to hand students uh, about applying there and what occupations uh, are available. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. We're here with Tiffany Sullivan with Sherwin-Williams. Could you tell us how we can contact you to find out more information about internship or job opportunities with Sherwin-Williams? Yes, for Sherwin-Williams, what you do, you just go to SherwinWilliams.com, and then it says that you look at Sherwin-Williams Careers, which is going to be online. Just go there, fill out all the information that it requires. Then once you do that, we'll be able to get back to you and see where it goes from there. Okay. Thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. I'm here with Barbara Bell with Waffle House. Could you tell us about any internship or career opportunities you have to offer today? Uh, we have an internship for last semester seniors, and we are recruiting operations managers. We're growing here in Arkansas. We're going to build about five new restaurants in central Arkansas this year, so I'm recruiting for those managers. For every one restaurant we build, that is one unit manager we need, and for every three, that's a district manager, so I've got upward mobility. Okay, great. And tell us how we can contact you for more information. Um, our career website is whcareers.com, and over on the right-hand side, you'll see the Apply Now tab for our online management. Uh, for hourly opportunities, we do have part and full-time positions for students while they're in school. They would just go into a restaurant. Or you can email me your resume at barbaravelle at waffahouse.com. Okay, thank you so much. Thanks, Shelly. I'm here with Jeff Fleming with Walmart Transportation. Could you tell us about any internship or career opportunities you have to offer today? Yes, so I am recruiting for a summer 2015 intern. Uh, typically looking for business administration or finance or industrial engineering type majors. Um, the position is based out of the office in Benville, Arkansas. Uh, we have responsibility for supporting inbound and outbound transportation moves for the central part of the United States. And so the intern would come in, uh, learn about that entry-level management position. We also have some special projects that we would assign them to do for the summer. And then we would also give them exposure to other parts of our company uh, during the time that they're with us for the summer. So uh, looking for uh, qualified candidates that's interested in career opportunities working with our Walmart Transportation Group. Okay, and how can we contact you to find out more information? So there's two ways. Uh, you can go to the Walmart website, so walmartcareers.com. Or you can also check with your Career Services Center here on campus. We've already posted our interns uh, through their website. I'm sure Ms. Sherry can have uh, answer any questions for you in regards to the position that we have posted on your site. Okay, thank All you right. so much. Thank you. I am here with two UAPB graduates who are now employed with Eaton Corporation. If you could introduce yourselves and tell us a little bit about what you all do. Okay, my name is Valerie Webb. I'm currently part of the Engineering Technology Leadership Development Program. Um, I have an undergrad degree from the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff in Industrial Technology Management and Applied Engineering. Michael Johnson, I'm currently in Atlanta, Georgia, where I'm a manufacturing engineer. Um, I also graduated from Arkansas Pine Bluff, May of 2012, with an industrial technology degree. Okay, and can you all tell us about any internship or career opportunities you have for our, our students today? Certainly. Uh, so we're currently offering uh, Eden Multicultural Summer Programs uh, for an intern. So if you're a freshman through junior, uh, please go to eden.com backslash careers. Also go to that same website if you're looking for a full-time hire program. I'm also proud to say that we have a leadership development program. Uh, it's a three-year program where each year they move you to a new city and you have a different job function within that program. Okay. So excellent. Right. Yeah. Thank you guys so Thank much. You. No problem. Thank you. We're here with Becky Russell with Tyson Foods. Could you tell us about any internship or career opportunities that you have to offer today? Sure. Um, we are interviewing tomorrow actually uh, via career services for internships in the IS department and a few full-time positions that we have um, within our I information, information systems department. Okay, and how can we contact you to find out information about internships? Uh, go through Career Services. Career Services has um, our contact information. They set up all of our in internships for us, all of our interviews for us. You can also go to the Tyson website, look at the careers 
page. The internships and the full-time positions are posted out there Okay. at TysonFoods.com. Thank you. So Thank much. you. Appreciate it. We're here with Betty Bryan with the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission. Could you tell us about any internship or career opportunities you have to offer today? Yes, we have internship opportunities and scholarship opportunities, and we're always looking for students who are interested in working in conservation or wildlife management. You can find more information about these on our website at agfc.com, or you're welcome to call the Human Resources Division at 501-223-6443. Thank you. You're welcome. We're here with Candace Davis with Axiom. Could you tell us about any internship or career opportunities you have for us? Sure. We have about 100 openings right now throughout our locations, um, Central Arkansas, and we have a new location in Austin, Texas right now, so we're doing a lot of hiring out there, um, our San Francisco Bay Area office, and then our Nashville office. Okay. Yeah. And how can we contact you for more information? Sure. So you can either email jobs at axiom.com, or if you want to send me an email too, it's uh, candace.davis at axiom.com. Okay, thank yeah, you so much. Thank you. I'm here with Bruce Bailey from the Pine Bluff Fire Department. Could you let us know how we can contact you all to find out about employment opportunities? Oh, uh, You can contact us at 870-543-5150, and they'll be able to tell you the things that you need to know. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here with Dorinda Smith with the USDA Natural Resources Conservation Services. Could you tell us about how we can contact you all to find out about internship and career opportunities? Yes, you can find opportunities on www.usajobs.gov. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. We're here with John Conklin with the Springfield, Missouri Police Department. Could you tell us about any internship or career opportunities you have to offer today? Absolutely. We uh, are the third largest city in the state of Missouri, and, uh, and uh, we are looking for people to come work with us. We need qualified people. Um, internships are a great way to build that relationship with, uh, with students and hopefully uh, transition into a career with us. Okay. And how can we contact you for more information? www.gospd.com. That's our website, and you can contact us, and all the emails will go directly to me. Be more than happy to provide any information I can. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm here with Captain Garen Mosby with the City of St. Louis. Could you tell us about any internship or career opportunities that you have to offer? Absolutely. The City of St. Louis has several uh, career opportunities and some internships. Uh, we are here under the umbrella of the Public Safety Department. Now, the Public Safety Department includes the Fire Department, which I am a part of, the Police Department, uh, the Buildings Division, and Corrections Division. Uh, what you would need to do is to go to our site, uh, just type in St. Louis hyphen MO, that's ST Louis hyphen MO dot gov, and go to the Civil Service Job Positions, and then every job that the city is currently hiring for. Is, is listed there. What we also encourage people to do as well if you're interested in the, in the fire department because the way we hire is a little different. You know, there is a time period where uh, you can be notified when there is actual hiring. So you can be notified when that opens up, get on the list, and then the process because it's not continuously open. But there are numerous civil service jobs on that website that you can apply for right now if you're interested. Okay, thank you so much. One more thing before oh, you yes. leave. If, if you are interested in an internship, mm -hmm. uh, if there's something that, that piques your interest, you're more than welcome to reach out to the division or the Department of Public Safety and send them an email. Okay. And just let them know, hey, I have an interest in this, I'd like to do that, and we will do our best to accommodate. Okay, thank you so much. You're very welcome. We're here with Jeremy Bell with Garden Public Schools. Could you tell us a little bit about your district? Sure. Uh, we are a small rural district, uh, but pretty sprawling. We serve uh, quite a wide area. We're in southwest Arkansas, probably about 25, 30 minutes uh, south of Henderson and Washita, if your students know where that, those locations are. And uh, right now we don't have any openings, but you know those do come open during the year sometimes. Somebody moves, uh, a spouse gets transferred, someone goes on maternity leave, and then of course in the spring we'll know about retirements and things like that. Uh, students can check our website at wwwgo devils plural, they do have to put the dash in there, .net, and it has the application, resume information on there, and we keep those on file usually for about two years, so if they apply now, we'll let them know if something comes open. Okay, thank you so okay, much. Okay, thank you. I'm here with Veronica Wilder Hudson with KIPP Delta Public Schools. Could you tell us a little bit about your organization and about any career opportunities you all have? Okay. KIPP Delta is an open enrollment public charter school. We're located in Helena, Arkansas, and in Blytheville, Arkansas. In Helena, Arkansas, we have grades pre-K through 12, 
and in Lionville we have a middle school and we just opened our first high school which started ninth grade and we also have um, instructional opportunities available as well as school leaders, school directors and, and other administrative openings at this time. Okay, and how can we contact you to find out more information? You can actually go online to apply at kipdelta.org okay. and that is our process. Okay, thank you so You're much. You're welcome. You have a good day. All right, you too. We're here with Call Props with the Arkansas Department of Human Services. Could you tell us about any internship or career opportunities you all have to offer? Oh uh, yeah, so on our internship, it's really limited to uh, psychology majors and social work majors. It's a non-paid internship, but it will gain some valuable uh, experience working there with DHS. And the thing I like about DHS, we offer a variety of positions that we have, and also we're located throughout the state of Arkansas. I like saying that every county has a county office. Our central office is located there in Little Rock, Arkansas, where we we have uh, the behind the scenes, I call it, from the accounting to the HR, to all those types of positions there. So if you are like a graduating senior, just go on our website to view our positions. Uh, the thing I like about DHS, it offers variety. And also, if you get with it while you're young and stick with it, you can move up, stay with it, or you can move around a little bit. Because like I said, every county has a county office. Uh, our website is www.arstatejobs.com, Arkansas Department of Human Services. All right, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm here with Joanne Digman with Insight St. Louis. Could you tell us a little information about Insight St. Louis? Right. Insight St. Louis is a collaboration of 20 St. Louis-based companies who are actively promoting St. Louis as a great place to live and work for students from historically black colleges and universities. Our companies are everything from Monsanto to privately held family-owned businesses like Swank and Build-A-Bear. And we have a variety of job opportunities, particularly for business majors, computer science majors, and for um, engineers. And tell us how we can contact you to find out more information about these opportunities. Uh, to go out to find out about open positions as well as upload your resume to our database, which our companies have access to all year long, our website is www.insightstl.org. Okay, thank, thank you, you so you. much. I'm here with Melvin Tobin with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Could you tell us about any internship or career opportunities you all have to offer? Sure. As a matter of fact, we have what we call the Pathways Program. The Pathways Program is a, um, I guess, it's kind of like an integrate of the STEP program and the SCEP program. It, um, and as a result, we merged it to where now we have the Pathway Program. Our office, which is the Arkansas Ecological Field Office, we just got through, as a matter of fact, hiring one of our Pathway students just last week. All right, and how can you find out more information about this opportunity? I'm glad you asked. I have information here on the table about the Pathways Program, and our Pathway Program is not just about um, Fish and Wildlife Service. This particular program is also a nationwide federal program. So um, by going out on the uh, Internet, you can, you can research this program, you can pull this up, and it'll tell you all there is to know about the Pathways Program. Okay, thank you so much. Sure. We're here with Linda J. Williams, who is a graduate of the university. Tell us a little bit about your uh, time here at UAPB. I graduated from UAPB back in the day. Okay. <laughs> and uh, it was a wonderful experience, and I really appreciate everything that I learned here. And the teachers were kind and caring, and uh, my heart goes out to the family, the Davis family. Uh, Prexy, Dr. Lawrence Davis, Sr., was the president when I attended school here. Okay, and tell us a little bit about the organization that you're here to represent today, Arkansas School for the Blind. Yes, I am a teacher, family and consumer science teacher at the Arkansas School for the Blind and Visually Impaired. I received my family and consumer sciences education degree from the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff, and we are here to recruit teachers. Okay. It is located in Little Rock, and it's a wonderful place to work and we would love to have students from UAPB to come and do their student internships with us and to also, we are open for employment. Okay. There's a lot of opportunities there and it's a great place to work. Okay, and how can we contact you to find out more information? Uh, we have a website address, www.arkansasschoolfortheblind.org and we have pamphlets here today, but our main number is area code 501-296-1810. We're located in, on West Markham Street, around the corner from the state capitol in Little Rock. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you.
I'm here with Cindy House and Liska Dilworth with ArcBest Technologies. Um, first of all, Liska, you are a graduate here of the university, so tell us a little more about your uh, tenure here at UAPB. Okay, well, my name is Liska Dilworth, and I am a graduate. I actually just graduated with my master's in information technology um, and computer science this December, this past December. Um, immediately joined on at our best technologies in Fort Smith, Arkansas, and have had an amazing time ever since. Okay, great. And tell us about any career or internship opportunities that you're offering students today. What we're looking for, we're hiring full-time in the information technology uh, area, the computer science, application programming. We have full-time and internships. The internships are actually on-site in Fort Smith. They run for about 12 weeks, start mid-May and go all the way through the first week of August. And what we do with those is we actually have you develop applications for us. We use, we have you program, we do some training, and we also implement those before you leave and let you do the presentations, the dog and pony shows for the executives and the users that are going to ultimately use this. Um, it's been very successful for us. We hire about 60 to 80 percent of our interns full-time after that. Okay, and let us know where we can find information about these opportunities. Our website is out there. It's ArcBest Technologies, A-R-C-B-T-E-C dot com. You can find us out there. Our online applications are out there as well. So, hope to enjoy it. Okay, thank you guys so much. Thank you.